what is happening my dudes super super early to the car boot this morning i don't even know if you can see me shed some light on this situation rocking my boy trainer trees charizard hoodie this morning hopefully bring me some good luck yeah you can see me now right you see me i don't know let's see what we can find let's do this There you go, there you go. Coins. Coins. 1911 coins. That's weird, isn't it? <laughs> Don't know. Is it? Remco. Remco. Remco's a good it. brand, isn't it? I like that. It's got to be some part of some magic set, hasn't it? Just like the woman who gets sawn in half. Oh, oh, ha, ha. oh nice. <laughs> you got more old toys that are all kicking about. They're probably all in that little Just box. Just in that little box. Fair, yeah. Um, yeah, yeah. I don't know. I don't know what that is. Pencil topper. Like you little things, don't you? Yeah. I like the little arms. Tip it out. Tip it out. Get it out. Steady on, man. Steady on. Get it out. Calm down. Calm down. I think that's it, Bob. Oh, it's from up. Look, it's, it's old boy Mel. Actually, no. <laughs> T-Rex. Steady as it goes. <laughs> Do you want a, what are they called? A kazoo? You kazoo? need a kazoo. You need that. You need that. What do you want for these three little bits? 50p, 30p. 50p, 50, 50, 30p. Don't know if I'm going to show you. What are you battering yourself there? Oh, yeah, she's put, knocking herself battery down, yeah. I know, what am I doing? HDMI, oh, HDMI. Oh, I do HDMI. actually only have 50p change. Yeah, no worries. Everything. Well. Oh, follicles. Oh, nice, nice. <laughs> Good stuff, eh? Welcome. <laughs> House. Yeah. Oh, wait. They are complete, you know. Yeah, they are. Yeah. Yeah. Staying and sinking. But not worse than getting home and oh, no. finding they're a this minute missing. One, two, three. I'll just take that one. Thank you Thank very you. much. Yeah. That is cool, that. Yeah. For friends. Friends. Oh, that is cool, that. Yeah. Have you got any teddies with us? No. Teddies? No. no. How much did you want for this? Couple of quid, is that Couple of quid, yeah. Tack a punt at a couple of quid. It's cold, is that? They don't have to put shoes in it. No, you could put the you could put, put well. I don't think the I don't think the I don't think the teddies would fit in it, but Just toys would, wouldn't it? Yeah. Mean to say you've got to put shoes There's like in it. vinyl figures of the Care Bears that oh, look cool right, sat yeah. in there, but the actual Care Bears themselves, I don't think they fit. In. That's no, cool, is it? Definitely take that. <laughs> yeah, it's cool, very cool. It's easily displayed as well, isn't it? Do you know what I mean? There'll be toys hanging out of it. Huh? I'm posted. And how much oh, is bacon sandwich? Okay. How much is we that? We haven't got going with them. Alright, alright. <laughs> Work out a price on that. <laughs> I'm only joking with you. <laughs> You've only bought one packet of bacon and you try to buy them. <laughs> Price. Ten. But if I said it, it falls apart. Someone's happy. Someone's happy here. Someone's got a new teddy. <laughs> Uh. Trying to Kenny. Um, Where are you? 
so difficult to work out if there's bits broke off or not on these, oh, isn't it? Oh, those are some nightmares. The modern it? ones are just, there's so much to them. Transformer? Yeah, it's a Transformer, but I don't know which one it is. <laughs> and my mate's not here this morning that collects them. What did you want for it? I have no idea. That's an idea. A couple of quid. A couple of quid. Gift it, gift it to Shrena Kenny. He'll be happy anyway. Oh, sure, mate. My mate, honestly, he's a, he's a whiz. Whiz with them. He, he can, he's an engineer by trade. And he grew up playing with Transformers. And he'll literally look at that and just go, ch -ch 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 -ch, and it'll, be, it'll be done. I don't know how he does it. He's some sort of savant. Transformer savant. Good. Two. 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 Cheers. Yo. We're here at the second car booty, Thorpe Arch, with the cafe in the distance there. Ooh, yum yum time. Let's see what we can find. It's not the busiest, but we'll have a look around nonetheless. Wish me luck. <laughs> This is terrible. Oh, oh, sorry, Mr. Incredible. Dropped you. Morning. Alright, mate. Yeah. Sad. Does he talk, do you know? Oh, he's still talking. Oh, quietly. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. How much is it? Six. Moving mouth Ted. His mouth's not moving. Oh, yeah. oh. oh I'm gonna do a fiver. I think his mouth's mo meant to move, but hopefully that's just because yeah, his batteries are going. Yeah. Hopefully. I'm trying to free it up with my fingers, but. Yeah. I think it's because it's too bad. Probably. Hopefully. Cheers, bud. What's in that there? Tin? Crit or crazy bones? Yeah. yeah. Alright, for them. Thank you. Right. Cheers, bud. His mouth's meant to be animated, but. Stay away from the plushies. Don't look at the plushies. Right. Breakfast time. Turning you off. You all right? You all right? I've been hiding from you guys. No, just didn't bother a couple of weeks. Was it went visiting family and stuff for a couple of weeks instead? Right, he'll tell us, he'll tell us. Is that, is it called oh, is that, yeah. and is that actually broken, or is it the design of it? Is it what? Do you know inside? Well, don't it's broken. Like if it's designed or what? Is it like the next thing? But yeah. No, is it like a jigsaw or something like that? No, I think the hatch out, you hatch out oh, of it so to begin with. Oh, so that's actually meant to be like that then? Yeah, it would have been, oh, it would have been... Thank you. Gee, it's you, you, you kid, the kid, the kid that opened it originally would have broke it out of the egg. Oh, right. Do you so know what I mean? It's meant to so like a jigsaw. How much is that? Way. How much is that? A couple, actually. Alright, solve that. Budgie. The little helicopter beach ball. That's cool.
I'll, can you put that to one side no, for me? I'll give you money for it, but just put, leave it yeah, next yeah. to the van or something. Yeah, Do you want me? Are you taking it now? Or? No, I'll just leave it there yeah, for just now. Leave it till you come back. Right? No, I'll no, get it when I come back. back around here. Yeah. Don't want to carry it, do I? Can't burn you. Yeah. 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 Hold on, mums. I know. Don't be aware of it first before you give us a bid. Yeah. 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 What about for those three? Lee, these are your magazines. Oh, trap doors here, isn't it? Trap door, oh, yeah. I used to watch it. I watched it as a kid, I, I, can, I can hear a song in my head. I'll give us three quid. Yeah. Why not? We just need a load of drummers, don't we? Is that what they are? Drum We're looking keys, at those. Yeah. Drum keys, yeah. yeah. Oh, there's the what have you got bracket. on these Batmobiles? The whole lot? Yeah. Well, it's a set, isn't it? What do you do set for? What, did they come with a magazine or something? I don't know, No, actually. they didn't. They just they came as they were. We bought them for our son when he was a little, little... Because they're not old, though, are they? No, they're not. No, they're they're not quite recent. But they're not they're like, really They're like remakes, aren't they? Yeah, I think they're probably ones. like 20 years old. Not even that, maybe 15 years old, something like that. I'll take that as well then. Yeah? Drop the whole lot? Yeah, why not? Yeah. Oh, I haven't got a bag or anything, you? No, uh, I've got a, a rucksack on, it'll be right. Cool. Cheers, mate. Thank you. Uh, 1961, that one, but it's missing cover. I know, shame, innit? I think we're done. I feel like I'm definitely done now. Definitely done. We bought our house, then. No, not really. Bits and bats. Today, really. Bits and bats. Have you got a rock with you? Do you want a bag then? for it? Uh... If you've got one, yeah, please. Got a yonder this morning. Yeah, I've been at Ruffworth and at Thorpe Arch as well. Are you there? Uh, not really. Is that Thorpe Arch still got? Yeah. No, it's still going. Ooh. We are back inside the treasure trove. I'm going to take a good look at all the things we found today. We've got a whole lot of things today. There's going to be a lot to look through. Before I do, before we do, I'd ask you very quickly to give the video a like down there, I think it is. Subscribe to the channel if you've not yet, and turn on the notification bell so that you don't miss out on any future electrifying content. <laughs> Let's dive into it then. So I picked up today in no particular order a whole bunch of vintage style, I think the reissue, but vintage style corgi Batman vehicles. So we've got the 60 style. I think the definitely reissue because the plastic on the bottom. Batmobile there. Joker mobile. Joker sat pilot in it. It's either being played with because they have got some chips on them and whatnot, but I paid ten pounds for I think pretty much ten of them. Maybe eight, eight or ten of them. Another old school style. Some of them have got spring actions. I'm not sure how that one fires, but you have to take my word for it. Two face mobile. Nice. The coin under the bonnet. Ching. Very nice. Sort of taxi style one, which I did just notice is missing a wheel, fortunately. Sort of fast and furious style. That mobile. Uh, red robin mobile. Springs up there. Very nice. It's like a catwoman type mobile, which again. I can't find the spring action on these, but they do spring out somehow. Not got any comps on these yet, I'll have to look them up. Try and drop some comps for you over here and, and, and here. See if there was any value in them, I'm entirely sure. If they're not great value, I'll just end up lotting them. What else did we find? We got a whole bunch of these for a pound each as well. Sort of mini collectibles, I think by something press, running press. They are used, I've had this Pro Sound pack before and sold it. I think they're sort of five or ten pounds a piece. Hamlet. Which is a, a talking skull, a light and sound skull. Wonder Woman! Again, I might end up just job lighting these to be honest with you. Uh, Joker Bust, which I think talks as well. Game of Thrones, Three Eyed Raven. Again, all by Running Press. They're the kind of thing that I think about Waterstones, little collectibles, or maybe even WH Smythes. Batman Talking Bust, uh, Telltale Heart, Edgar Allan Poe, big Edgar Allan Poe fan over here. And this one actually. Uh, 
can open it and see it without opening the packaging. And it beats and vibrates. Very cool. Very cool. Still feel it vibrating now. It's very cool. Xenomorph, an alien xenomorph with sound. Again, yeah, that's a little bust. And another Edgar Allan Poe one, which is the raven. That's just a two-eyed raven, not a three-eyed raven. As in Game of Thrones. And again, a little sound. Just a tolling bell. Packaging a bit damaged on that one. Comes a little book as well, which is presumably the poem. Poem? Poem. Poem. Presumably the poem in the little book. What else we got? We got no idea, absolutely no idea what this transformer is, what generation it is, but I think I paid two pounds for it and I know that Trainer Kenny will take one look at it and work his magic fingers. He'll have it transformed in literally moments. Literally moments. It looks like some sort of werewolf type thing. Not sure who it is. I couldn't see any parts that were broken off of it, so I might as well grab it for a couple of pounds. Could be a good one. What else we get? We got a Robbie the Robot from the movie Forbidden Planet. This is a, I think a 2009 model kit. It took me some time to figure out exactly who it was made by and whatnot, but it seems as though it's a model kit. Had it been a sealed model kit, it would have sold for decent money. But even so, even, even so it's being built, it might be 20 or 30 pounds maybe. Very dusty, wants to clean. I might try and find this on the shelf for it if I'm honest, because we do love sci-fi. What else did we get? Ooh, make sure you stick around this one because we've got a very, very exciting thing at the end. Saving the best till last. So we got a couple of scrappy half boxes of match attacks from 2020 season. I'm not sure on the resale of those. There's a good number of packs though. There's that one. And this this box is fully, fully broken apart. I need to put them all in one box actually, I think. I'll do that after. But yeah. Whole bunch of match attacks, which would have retailed at a pound each and I paid. I think four pound, five pound for the lot, including actually Star Wars flips, which look to be like pogs, but metal. Not entirely sure on those. Flips and dice game. A whole bunch of those in there. Whole world of those. Again, probably just lock those up. See what they sell like in job lots. I got a lovely little Slipknot sweatband for Mosh Geller. My boy Mosh Geller. Shout out Mosh Geller. That tarantula kid. And give that to him and no doubt love that. Nice little gift. Speaking of gifts, I was given a Ninja Turtles watch <laughs> because the uh, lady that's always there at the car boat knows that I love Ninja Turtles. Just got a present for you. Gave me that. Let's see if it will. It might actually fit on my wrist, though, Angela. Might just start wearing that. Bobby, you're 17. It's, it's time to throw childish things aside. And I said, okay, Pop. But he didn't really say that. He said, stop being a fucking dinosaur and get a job. <laughs> it projects the time as well. It's got sort of a torch that projects the time. Onto the wall. On the wall. We've got this box set, Duvde, DVD, Duvde box set. Complete series of The Mentalist, which the chap had three box sets on his stall. I think there's 24 of uh, Sutherland, Kiefer, Kiefer Sutherland. What was the other one that had there? I forget. Back very quickly, just scanned the barcodes and saw that this had very good comps of around 30 to 40 pounds. Thought, can't go wrong really. Checked that all the discs are there, paid five pounds for it. Sticking on DVDs, I bought myself Defenders of the Earth Defenders. Master of magic, spells, and delusion. Enemies tremble with fear and confusion. Mandrake. With our new young heroes proving their worth. Four become eight, defending the Earth! Defenders of the Earth! Defenders! Defenders of the Earth! <laughs> Defenders of the Earth! That's the only bit I remember of the theme song, honest. Defenders of the Earth, The Book of Mysteries, I'll probably watch that if I'm honest. I did have decent comps, I think around £15. I'll probably treat myself to watching that. Bad buy. Possibly a bad buy. Ted. I mean, how can Ted be a bad buy? But you ever hear a Boston girl have an orgasm? Oh, yeah! That's not oh, suitable yeah. for YouTube. <laughs> That's not suitable oh, for YouTube. God, that was so now I'm gonna my I paid. <laughs> Fish, Ted. No need for that. I paid five pounds for that. I think his mouth's supposed to be animatronic, but the guy said, oh, he probably just needs new batteries. But yeah, doesn't seem to sell very well. Probably around 15 pounds. So I don't know. I might just gift that to one of the wholesome teenagers that are in my life. 
we got, I'm not sure if we got this off camera, I'm not sure. But very similar to the Halo figure that I got last week. Assassin's Creed, McFarlane toys. I've not done any comps on this yet. Arno Dorian, Eagle Vision outfit. Paid three pounds for it, comps, comps, over. Here's my Care Bears, Care Bear Cousins shoe bag, which is pretty cool. I walked straight past it and uh, Joe Meat Feast pointed to it and said, that's it, that's definitely you. And it definitely is me. I guess the idea is that the kids hang the pumps in, in there back in uh, 1986, does that say? Kids would hang the pumps in there, but you could use it to display toys in. I'm not sure large Care Bears would fit in there, but maybe the little vinyl figures that you can get would, would look good hanging out of there. I don't know. Pretty good. Seems to have comps of around £40. Paid £2 for that. So that's a nice find. I'm coming towards the very exciting items now. Who be excited. I'm excited. Are you excited? I'm excited. So I think these were the first purchase of the day. Probably the most exciting as well. But these are vintage slot cars. Scale X-Strix type slot cars. And what sold me on them was the fact that someone went to the care of making these custom little boxes to keep them in, store them in. Because to me that, that cries out collector. And if a collector is looking to protect them, thought they were valuable enough to protect them, was proud enough to protect them, then they're probably worth decent money. Looks like a Ford to me, Ford GT maybe. These are small scale, these ones. The three larger ones have got Tammy R bodies, which I know is a good thing. Not sure on this one, I'll have to look for manufacturing symbols. Just Google lens. You do recognize any of them if you want to drop in the comments what cars they are. Really appreciate that. Save me some work. This one, don't know on this one either. Oh, this one did have some writing on it, I think. This one flipped up. Super shells made in England, it says on the main body. Again, very, very intricate. Definitely some age to them. I say at the very least they are 1970s, but possibly earlier. The driver of that one, I think it's come loose, is it? Yeah, it looks like he's come unstuck. But yeah, very nice. And three larger ones. Again, I don't recognize the cars, to be totally honest. Way before my time. But these are the ones that are Tammy R bodies. This one again, Ford, Ferrari, I'm not sure. Definitely got to be 60s, that one. Definitely looks like 1960s to me. Tammy R body, and then you can see all the custom um, mechanics underneath there that someone spent a lot of time putting together. And also it does say Tammy R on the frame as well on this one, I think. Yeah, it does. It says Tammy R on the frame as well as the body on that one. So yeah, have to do some more research into those. I think I paid I him 65. I think I gave him 65 for the five. So, you know, not bad. What's that? 12 pounds each, a bit more than 12 pound each. <sighs> collectibles, <laughs> he's thrashing them up, <laughs> thrashing about the collectibles. This one looks like it might have lost its windscreen, but again, definitely, definitely 60s, I would say on that one. Does that one say Tammy out? No, it doesn't say Tammy out on the mechanics, but pretty sure it does. On the body. Pretty sure, not entirely sure. Can't be 100%. And then, one last one. What's this one? A lot of listing to do, haven't I? Again, very, very similar style, similar age. I would guess that one's Tammy out again. If you can't see it, you can't say it. You can't see it, you can't say it. But looks to be telling you now. Little crack on the fin at the back there. But yeah, very, very nice, very tidy, very nice looking things. Somebody clearly cared an awful lot about them. Fingers crossed they were a good buy. And that nearly is goodbye, but not quite. Not quite a good buy. So I bought three books, magazines, books from the same buyer that I bought the, the Batman cars that I showed you first. One of them pretty innocuous, I just got it for sentimental values. Trapdoor, I used to watch it as a child. Then this one, my eyes lit up, but as soon as I touched it, I knew it was too good to be true. This is the first ever issue of the Beano comic. 
but it's not it's a reprint but even so seems to be worth around 20 or 30 pounds but for that reprint of the Beano obviously someone wants to have the joy of reading the first ever Beano but doesn't want to pay a premium to do it then buy that and this last but by no means least is very very exciting very very exciting it is the Marijuana Review. Come on, Dewey. Join the party. No, Dewey. You don't want this. Get out of here. You know what? I don't want no hangover. I can't get no hangover. It doesn't give you a hangover. Well, well I'll get addicted to it or something? It's not habit forming. Oh, okay, well, I don't know. I don't want to overdose on it. You can't OD on it. It's not gonna make me want to have sex, is it? It makes sex even better. Sounds kind of expensive. It's the cheapest drug there is. Which is a political pamphlet stroke magazine that was printed between, I think, 1967 and 1974, if I'm right. This is the final issue they ever printed, volume number nine, which is a special marijuana initiative analysis, special issue. Um, somebody distributed this for free in London. I think it was printed in America, but I must have shipped some over. I think it was an independent publication anyway, the whole time. But yeah, this um, this is exciting. I saw in America someone had sold issues one, two, three, four, and five for somewhere around three thousand pound. I paid a pound for this, and I've listed it on auction. I'm just going to see how it goes. Maybe by the time this video comes out, it will have sold or, or not sold, and I'll be able to tell you what happened. But yeah. Controversial subject matter, low circulation number, low number, no, low amount of circulation. Need to edit out a lot of dead air there. I know I do. But yeah, pretty cool. What are your views on marijuana? Legalize it? I don't know. It's just a herb. The problem with marijuana is it has frequently been referred to as a gateway drug. So does he recommend this as a good first smoke? Absolutely not. So, just to make clear, all this stuff so far is legal. What about the other stuff? All this is, just to make clear, all this is illegal. What? So that's going to be it, guys. Thank you, thank you, thank you, as always, for watching this video and supporting the channel. You know I appreciate it a heck of a lot. If you can, drop a like on the video. Make sure you subscribe if you've not already subscribed. And maybe watch one of these other videos over here i don't know i've heard, heard some of them are pretty good you know heard good things <laughs>